Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this Sunday. We have 10 new fabrics for you today. Some really pretty prints, uh, some bases, which I think you'll be excited about, and one new base as well. So, first one is my beloved ribbed knit. I do love the ribbed knit. It's soft. It has a great amount of stretch. It has excellent recovery. And it comes in these really gorgeous little prints. Let me show you. This one. So cute. So this one's called Hearty. It's this gorgeous dusty pink. So rib knit has really nice stretch horizontally. It has nice stretch vertically and really nice drape. So I think this is a fabric that's going to be really nice um, in either a fitted garment or a garment that requires more drape or a combination of the two. It can work really well um, doing both of those things because it stretches really good and its recovery on its stretch is really good as well. We put this one with thread 155. It's not a perfect match, but I think when you've just got one strand, I think it'll work quite well. And then it looks really nice with pink bamboo or you can put it with ivory double brush poly. Okay, so that's hearty rib knit. Next one is super pretty. I hope you like it as much as I do. It's a rayon spandex and it's this gorgeous multicolored zebra. All right, let me open it up and show you. Really pretty pastel colors in there, which I think is just made all the more striking with the black zebra print that's going on. Isn't that so pretty? So, rayon spandex has a lot of stretch and not great recovery. So keep that in mind with what you're sewing. If it's something too long, then it'll have a lot of weight and it will pull down in the day and get a bit bigger on you. Using some clear elastic in shoulder seams and the waist seam, if there is one, will certainly help. Um, but just keep in mind what you're sewing. You can still sew a lot of stuff with it because it's amazing and I think we all want to. Um, you just need to reinforce it if possible um, and perhaps make some allowances for that stretch. Okay, this one um, I have put with pewter blue, which is a cotton spandex, and duck egg blue. Unfortunately, we couldn't, I'm not sure, I thought we could find something to go with the pink, but maybe not. Purple, we are so short on purples at the moment, they are so hard to come by. Um, but I am working on a new order at the moment, and so I've selected every purple I can see. So soon we'll be overrun by purples. And in regard to thread, I don't have a thread up, but I think probably black is an easy one to go for. Maybe some ivory, but I think it's probably more black than ivory in this print. So maybe the black, maybe I'll put black up. All right, so that's multicolored zebra, rayon spandex. Okay, this is a new one for today, and I'm a great lover of stripes, and I think I might love stripes more than a lot of other people love stripes, but this is a really nice, subtle stripe. So it's called Pink Broken Stripes Jersey, and it's called Broken Stripes. Can you see that detail there? So there are, the, the black is obviously a full stripe, but then the other stripe in between is a bit broken. So this fabric is 64% rayon, 17% poly, 15% cotton, 5% spandex. Beautiful for summer. A great t-shirt for summer or a t-shirt dress would be really nice as well. It has really nice stretch. Got some going vertically, not heaps, but there's some there. And really nice drape. Now this one I put with 1651. It's not amazing, but if you can't find anything else, then 1651 might be the one. This is 1 
555 as well, which actually does look better on the screen. It is a bit darker in person, but it does look pretty good on the screen. I might put both of those up so that you can see the link for both of them. This one as well goes with the pink bamboo. And we also put it with grey double brush poly. I just love pink and grey together. It's so pretty. But there is some grey in these stripes. I think I'm having trouble showing it to you. But in the broken stripes there, there's a little bit of grey. It's so pretty. Really pretty together. Okay, so pink broken stripes. And this is a really gorgeous jersey. All right. Athletic performance. This is the last of the prints that I have. So I all of a sudden discovered some prints in athletic performance and so I bought everything that they had, which I think was only two different prints and I just got it in every colorway that there was. So this is another version of Drill Sergeant, this time in light khaki. So we've got Drill Sergeant already in army um, and so this is just the lighter version of that, which is still really pretty. How cool would these look made up as um, workout pants and leggings? Really nice. Okay, so really nice firm stretch both ways. Good drape. It's 80% poly, 20% spandex, 240 GSM. So a really nice weight for workout gear. It doesn't have to just be for workout gear. You can use athletic performance for whatever you like. Uh, it just so happens that it is good for athletic wear. All right, so no matching thread, and I couldn't find any matching fabrics either. They're just not quite the right color, unfortunately. So that's Drill Sergeant in light khaki, and it is an athletic performance. All right, I have a woven for you. I know wovens are scary. They can be really pretty too. So this is a rayon shelly. It's called Queen Cheetah. Rayon shelly is 100% rayon. So it is gorgeous to wear in summer. It breathes really well. It's really light. It has really nice drape. So some wovens can really stick out a lot. This one just drapes beautifully. It is about 130 centimetres wide, so it's not as wide as our knit fabrics, but it's still quite a good width for a woven fabric. So no stretch to show you because it is a woven. It is about 120 GSM, this fabric. So I put this with thread 277, and again, I couldn't find any matching solids to go with it. Obviously black is going to look amazing. Um, we don't usually do photos with black. But the actual background colour, um, or the, the animal fur colour I guess, has got a like burnt caramel, orangey, not so orange, but it's got it's quite bright for an animal print colour. So it's really pretty though, really very nice. So Queen Cheetah, Rayon Shelley. All right, some DTY for you. This one's quite pretty. Talk of the town, it's called. Look at that. Let me show you up close. So pretty, isn't it? So DTY is just a beautiful poly knit. It, um, it feels a little bit slinky to the touch, not overly slippery, uh, cool to the touch, which is nice. There's no brushing whatsoever, um, and for me it's the brushing that makes me a bit warm. Um, so this, for me, is quite nice in summer uh, because it's not brushed. So, excellent stretch, really good stretch on this one. And some vertical, beautiful drape. So again, so many things that you can make with this. Dresses and tops and skirts, pants. I was wearing some Palazzo pants on the weekend made out of DTY. And they are just beautiful for summer because they're really nice and slinky and cool and not too heavy, but quite dressy looking. Though they work well, I think. 
All right, so this one goes with 2070. And we've matched it up with teal, rayon modal. Let's go in with these flowers. And chambray, double brush poly. Also matches in with those flowers. Bright red, double brush poly. And aqua. I can't get it to stay there. Here we go. Aqua, double brush poly. So that's Talk of the Town, DTY. Oops, let me turn my machine back on here. Now, we have another broderie on glaze for you, another colourway. This time we have this beautiful cornflower blue. This is also a DTY, so it does have quite a nice slinky feel to it, nice and cool, and obviously it's got some built-in air conditioning there as well to help on those really hot days. Let me show you up close. There we go. So you can see, I'm just going to say the print there. It's not a print, it's the detail in there. So it really depends on what you're going to make in regard to lining it. If you're going to make a beach cover up or something like that, you don't need to line it. It's going over the top of your bathers. Um, it really depends on the sort of top that you're going to make, if you're going to need to line it or not. Um, with some you could just wear a skin tone bra and it would still be quite nice. It would work without a lining or without anything on underneath. But other things you'd probably need to either line it or if you're lazy like me you can run down to Big W and just buy yourself a little slip to go underneath. Um, we, when we photographed this one we have just wrapped it around Molly, our mannequin, without anything else underneath it. And you do have to look closely to see um, what's underneath. So it's not really obvious um, that there's nothing under there. So keep that in mind. I mean, a dress or a skirt or something, you're going to need to have something under it. But some tops you might be able to get away with um, not having to line it or wear a camisole or anything underneath. Okay, so stretch. Beautiful. It's got some vertical. Really nice drape, really pretty. I have no matching thread for you today and no matching fabrics because it's a solid, but I think it speaks for itself. So cornflower blue, broderie on glaze. All right, I have one more DTY for you and you're gonna have to get in quick for this one because the girls who sew here at Lush, they all went a little bit crazy when they saw this. Uh, and so lots of them have bought it. This one is called Vivid Spring. It does have some really gorgeous colours in it. Let me show you. You could match this with lots of different things. You know, make a gorgeous little skirt or shorts or something like that, and then you could have lots of little tops that match. It would be very cute. So again, it's got the really nice slinky, cool feeling. And it's got a firmer stretch than Talk of the Town, but it is still nice and stretchy. And there's your drape. So this one I put with thread number 1000. Because that's the background colour. And then we can match this one with Persian pink. And off-white. And mango cream. And Cupid. Such pretty colours. And Cupid goes with this darker flower here. So what you can do, I was telling somebody um, on the weekend that was here on the open day, so to make the most out of your wardrobe, so say if you wanted to make a t-shirt out of the mango cream, rail modal, because you really like the way that it looks with this um, vivid spring, but you also wanted to be able to wear your mango cream t-shirt with something other than Vivid Spring. If you go onto the Lush Fabrics website and use the search function, if you search mango cream in there, it will come up with a list of all the fabrics that we have coordinated with um, mango cream. So there's other prints out there that look really nice with mango cream. So if you do that little search, then you can see if there's any other fabrics that go with it. 
and see if you'd like to get another print as well to make another skirt or a pair of shorts, whatever it might be, so that you can have a couple of things that you can wear your mango cream t-shirt with. And obviously vice versa, it can go the other way as well. Um, perhaps I had a thought there and it's just totally gone now. Don't you hate that? Well, that's really annoying. That's gone. Let's carry on. I've lost it. Okay, Vivid Spring, DTY. I'll remember it once I finish recording. Recording? Recording. Okay, let's see if I can get my words straight and my thoughts straight. I've only got two left. Let's see if I can get through it. You've seen this print before. This time it is in black. This is called Memento. So we have Memento in sage and now in black. This is a double brush poly. It's very pretty. Really cute. Really lovely and soft. Nice stretch. Both ways. Really nice straight. So obviously thread number 4000, our black is the match for this one. And the only fabric match I've got for you is ivory, but as it's basically black and white, you can match it with so many different things. It'll look great with a heap of different colours. And it's so pretty, isn't it? I really like it. Maybe I need a pair of sachets or something for summer out of this fabric. I have two. Okay, last one is our Lush Sunday special. We do just have one Lush Sunday special this week. We don't have a whole heap like we have previously. And it is what I'm wearing. It's coral and navy tie-dye, double brush poly. Oh, I should have brought my stool out. I've made an Every Me dress by Pat Emporium. So it's got the longer tail at the back and then shorter at the front. And although I have just said that um, brush poly, I do find can be too hot for me on a hot day. Uh, it gets pretty hot here in Perth, so I think I can probably be forgiven for that. Anything probably over 35, I wouldn't wear brush poly. But something like this is quite cool, I feel. It's not tight. Um, there's plenty of airflow that can come through it. I don't have my arms covered, which for me really helps. It's not too high on my neck, which helps for me as well. So it's quite light here, um, which for me is great. We're all different um, and we just need to work out what is best for us. And for me, this dress will be well used as long as it's not over 35. But let's be honest, when it's over 35, I don't want to be wearing any clothes because it's just hot and it's horrible. I'd rather just sit in the pool, but I can't every day. Okay, this is it. See, it can look very different depending on where you cut it. It's a tie-dye, so it's not a consistent print. Um, so think about that when you're cutting it as to what you want at the front and what you want at the back. You know, if you prefer the navy, then you might try and get your front piece over here. If you prefer the lighter bit, where am I? You can see I'm going the wrong way again with my screen confuses me, then you might cut it here to get the lighter section. So you can just choose your placement quite easily. It is a real tie-dye, so it's still the same colour on the back. Generally double brush poly doesn't have the print on the back of it. It's like that. But this is a, a proper tie-dye, and so it's on both sides. Okay, stretch. Fantastic. beautiful drape. I put thread number 825 with this. It's not amazing. Again, it really just depends on where your hem hits, what colours you're going through. Um, so this might work, it might not for wherever your hem is going to hit. You're not going to know that until you cut your fabric or at least place your pieces on the fabric to try and work it out. So it goes really nicely with white and I don't have a card for this one but Coral. This is Coral 180 GSM cotton spandex. So that look really nice together. Again, a pair of sachets and a little tank top. Perfect for summer. Sachets I can wear in double brush poly no matter what the temperature um, because they're very loose fitting and they don't cover a huge, huge part of your body. So 
that's it for today. This is your Lush Sunday special, the Coral and Navy Tie-Dye. I hope you like our fabrics. Don't forget to uh, enter our drawers on Facebook. So on our Facebook page and our Facebook group, we have a competition each week to win a $25 Lush gift card. So do enter that. Uh, you're not going to win if you don't give it a go. Hope you like our fabrics. We are going to start our moving process next week. So anyone who is wanting to pick up their fabric, so if you want to place an order for some of these new releases and you want to pick it up, it will take you longer to be able to get it um, for this week. So if you are wanting it quickly, you might need to think about post just for this time um, because probably come Tuesday, we're going to be in a bit of a state of disarray. It'll probably take us a week to set it up properly because we have so much stuff to move both out here in the warehouse and inside and it's a really big job. So um, do keep that in mind if you do place an order for pickup that it might be a little bit harder to get it. Um, usually we have it available for you really quickly and you can come in and grab it but you know we're going to be a little bit all over the place. So I will put a note up about our new location once we are there. All right, I'll leave you to it. Enjoy, hope you like the fabrics and I'll see you hopefully next week with some more. Thanks. Bye-bye.